How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ocean's Reviews here today. So today I've got another video for you guys. Another cool little video. So as you guys know, um, for a while there I had like this black movie shelf that wasn't really fantastic. Um, it didn't really hold a lot of my movies and well, actually, it didn't, you know, it couldn't hold all of my movies and eventually I had to start putting like movies on the floor and I hated that. I hate seeing my movies on the floor. So I went ahead and got some more or well, brand new movie shelves. So I want to show you guys like what the setup is like now um, for my movies. Maybe it might give you guys some inspiration on what you'd like to do with your movie collections or something rather how you'd like to set up yours. Um, but we're just going to go through it, show you guys how I've done it, where I've put what, where, and things like that. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, let's get into the shelves. Um, so, obviously, we've got to have a candle. Definitely like a good candle. Want the room smelling good. Um, probably put some more, like, ornaments and stuff up here as well. There's a lot of room up here to put, like, figurines and things like that that I haven't really, don't really know what to do with yet. Um, and then every sort of section has its own little pop figure. So here I've got Spider-Man. And this is like my 4K section and my steelbook section. So I've got steelbooks on one side for now. I don't own too many steelbooks. So, you know, it's fine just to keep them there. And then the 4Ks, just regular 4Ks on that side. And I've also got this stand thing where I can put like a movie on display or something rather like, uh, for example, we'll put Moana there for now. Um, so yeah, that's just a classic example of what that would be for. Um, and then we'll go down one. We've got more Blu-rays, the Rambo grenade, the classic Rambo grenade, and also Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber. Um, so yeah, we like that. Um, just uh, all my Blu-rays, obviously, well, they probably should be, but they're not in alphabetical order or any sort of order. When I put these shelves together, I was like, oh, finally, it's done. I just want to put them on the shelf, but I will do some sort of organization at some point. I usually like to organize them by like genre, not particularly alphabetical order. So I put like comedies, horror, action, you know, just something like that. Um, I feel like I like that sort of order. Then we got Arnold from Predator when he's covered in mud, fighting the Predator. And then obviously I've stacked them here as well and then done like the vertical stack there. I didn't want to put them in front. I don't want to do any overlapping because I sort of want to use this space for like figurines or anything like that that I might buy. Probably some more pop figures, probably not, I hope not. Um, just going down the rabbit hole even more when I buy more of those things. Um, so yeah, just more Blu-rays, random Blu-rays on this shelf. Bit of a horror section here. This is probably most of my horror films here. Um, you know, like Get Out and Dawn of the Dead and the Alien films and um, things like that. Um, then we've got all my box sets and digi books. Um, so we got, yeah, Star Wars there, Indiana Jones, Godfather, Rocky, Lord of the Rings. Um, then we got that Matrix thing. This one is overlapping a bit. There's Predator back there. Um, I don't really mind too much for the box sets um, just because they take up so much space. Um, but yeah. And then on the other section, we got on the bottom all the DVDs that I own currently at the moment. I did have a whole lot more DVDs at some point in time but I ended up giving them most of them away um, when I started collecting Blu-rays. Um, so yeah, but the DVD collection is slowly growing back up again. I still do buy DVDs every now and again. And then I've also got a little space for my Switch games here as well, because yeah, I do play the Switch. A um, lot of, bit of Pokemon for any Pokemon fans out there. Um, and then we got this section with the little uh, Harry Potter pop figure. And then we got some more stacked up there in no particular order. 
And then we got the next section here in no particular order. And then we got Doctor Strange from the Multiverse of Madness. I really love, this is probably my favorite pop figure, this one. Um, awesome little pop figure, it's really cool. Um, yeah, so, and then we got the top part here with um, a few little Rubik's Cubes. I do like playing with these every now and again. Um, definitely love the cubes. And yeah, just some more Blu-rays there. I do have a lot of space to build up upon on a lot of these shelves. Um, so I won't need another one for any time soon. But for context, I was looking at um, getting these shelves, um, but I wasn't sure on the size, so I didn't for a while. Um, but these, if you live in Australia, these came from Kmart and they were $39 each. So definitely a good price for some shelves and definitely a space saver. You know, if you don't mind stacking them like this, like I have, I don't really mind it because I'm all about trying to save space as much as I can. Um, but not, not saving space to the point where I'm going to double up here. I'm definitely not going to do that. I really don't like that. Um, I feel like a lot of you will probably feel the same as well. You're not really a big fan of doubling. Um, but yeah. So eventually I might get a third one if I have to, but I feel like it would be quite some time before I have to even consider that. But yeah, we'll head back over now and I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, I'm back. So I hope you guys like that little overview of the uh, movie shelves that I've got now. Definitely a lot cleaner, bit of a better space. Um, but I hope maybe that gives you guys some inspiration of what you'd like to do for like when you build or like, you know, buy your movie shelves. I know a lot of you guys actually build your own shelves, which is really cool. I don't have the time for that, to be honest. I couldn't. Um, but yeah, these were relatively cheap. If you're looking for some budget friendly movie shelves, um, definitely go to Kmart. Um, $39 each. I mean, you can't go wrong with that price, really. I feel like that's a great price for some just some shelves to put your movies on. And if you don't mind how I've stacked them like that, you can definitely do that as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys are sort of always researching and into like how to set up your movie collections and how to display them and things like that. You guys are really passionate about that. So I thought I'd show you what my setup is like. Love to know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.